Yeah, you got that yummy, yum, that yummy, yum, that yummy, yummy. Hey, my beautiful Empires, and welcome to the Empire. If you are new here, I'd love it if you join my family. Subscribe, say hi down below. I love supporting other channels and making new friends. Today's video is a super exciting one. I got my hands on the 39L Morphe Hit the Lights palette. Honestly, I was mostly intrigued by one particular section. If you know me, you know I'm obsessed with warm tones and I love golds. There is actually, to be honest with you, a little too much gold. We do have the Bianca Loves Makeup section, which is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And then we have the, I don't know, I'm not sure what this says here. I'm sorry. We have this section, we have Vikram, and then we have Khalid HMUA. So we have the neons, we have more neutral tones with two pressed glitters, the beautiful warm tones, three I believe highlights and then some lid toppers some pinky tones here so these are all the colors right here I'm going to insert some swatches for you in the natural daylight okay so this is the first section Bianca loves makeup 91 the reason I bought the palette are these shades not gorgeous so we have it starting from left to right daring hot stuff serve looks for real Attention please, so sassy, extra attitude, and work the room. Okay, the second section is by Twee. That's what she says in the beginning of her videos. I hope I'm saying that right. We're starting from left to right again with vibing, flirt alert, my type, hookup, hot date, love bomb, makeout sesh, and obsessive. The silver and the gold are pressed glitters. Next, we have the middle row, starting off with the three highlights, which are Beam, Magic Hour, and Glow Show, and then the four lid toppers, which are Glitz On, Gleam Big, Strobin, and Halo Effect. And now we have Khalid Cashel's section, starting off from the left, Euphoric, Feeling It, Give In, So Wild, Rhythm, No Regrets, Live It Up, and Chaos. And then the last section is by Victor Ramos, we start off with Ghosted, Don't Stop, Reckless, a Go All Night, Insomniac, Out Late, 2 a.m. and Till Dawn. Honestly, the green and the yellow did not swatch very well. That was going over it two times. And I'm not sure why we have to have two blacks in this palette, but it is what it really is. I can't really say for sure how I feel about this palette just yet because I've only used it once. The one thing I would say, I wish there was more color variation. There's so much gold in here. As much as I love gold, you only need so much gold. I am wearing the highlight beam and I think it's really beautiful. It looks more drastic on camera because of the lights. In the mirror, it's a little more subtle. It's still very pretty. So yeah, if you want to see how I created this tutorial on my eyes and how the shadows blended and everything, then please keep on watching. So exciting! Let's see what we can do here. Packaging. So I think I'm just going to be sticking with the Bianca Loves Makeup area. Because if you have been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I love the warm tones. That's basically why I bought this. But I hope I definitely get more use out of it. I mean, doing a neon look with these would be super fun as well. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But I definitely want to try out some of these tones right now. So I'm going to have to keep picking back up this paper to figure out the color names. Daring, hot stuff, serve looks, for real, code red. Attention please, so sassy, extra attitude, and work the room. All right, we're going to go in with this color in the crease. I have on my Twisted Peppermint Candle back there, and oh my god, I'm obsessed with it. I wish I would have bought more because now... I can't get them again till next Christmas. I love Bath and Body Works, but that's what I hate about them. If you don't get there right when the season starts and the candles and stuff first come out, the best ones sell out so quickly. And then you have to wait a whole nother year. And sometimes you don't have, you know, they're $25 a candle. Not everybody has $100 to buy four candles all at once. I do usually wait till there's the sale, the $12.50, but then that's when a lot of stuff is picked over. Or the buy one, get one free. Um, I'm going to try Beam. I've heard Beam is a beautiful, beautiful highlight. I'm not wearing anything on my cheeks right now, even though it kind of looks like it. It's just the lighting. I don't have any. Okay. We're going to use the Sephora brush. Pro Contour number 79. Let's see. 
I have a feeling it's going to be subtle. This is very pretty. I wonder if I wet my brush, if it would be a little more bam in your face. Let's go back to the eye look. This is hurting my hand holding this up. We're going to go with this shade right here. And it is called Serve Looks. Because I'll be serving some looks. We're going to use a brush like this. Try it out. Ah, oh, that's killing my wrist. Ooh, she pigmented. A nice, like, red type of smoky eye. Ooh. Holy crap. They ain't playing with the pigment on the mattes. That's what I find with the Such a Gem palette as well, that the mattes are super, super pigmented, but then the shimmers are very lackluster. Like they're pretty in the pan, but then when you put them on your eyes, they're not very pigmented. It's more just glitter. And I love glitter, but I just wish they packed a little bit more of a punch. So I'm really hoping that the shimmers in this palette, you know, whip my whistle. Float my boat. I wanna see who actually watches through my whole video. So tell me a saying, like float my boat, but one that you know, down in the comments. I can think of wet my whistle and float my boat. What ones do you got? We're gonna go back in with my type. Let's go around the edges just to make sure everything's buffed and blown out. She's looking very pretty so far. Next, we're gonna go in with hot stuff. I'm nervous because they're so darn pigmented. Oh, okay. They almost have like a pinky hue to them, which I'm not mad about. Can't wait to put some kind of glitter on the lid. I haven't done my makeup in probably almost a week. I've been having a lot of issues with breakouts. My skin has just been so irritated. So I've been just trying to give it a break and figure out what is going on. I'm still testing out the Ordinary products, but I keep going days in between not using anything, trying to let my skin clear up. It's hard when your skin is breaking out and then you're trying new products and you don't know, you know, what product might be causing it, but my skin was breaking up before I even started the products. It's kind of a reason why I got them to begin with. We're gonna go back over with just a buffing brush. Just kind of go over everything. Buff it all out nice. Buff, buff, buff. Buff it, buff, buff, buff. Buff. My whole chin has just been breaking out. I'm getting stuff happening around here. My forehead had some. I don't know what is going on. Drop my Kleenex on the ground. As always, not a Michelle video if I don't drop something. Next, we're going to go in with For Real. The much smaller brush. Pack that right into the crease. Go back in with a little bit more of a fluffy brush and just blend over that a little. The line looks a little harsh. Going back in with hot stuff. I think I'm going to go in with the shade Attention Please. Pretty. I hate having to wet my brush and then put it into the pan because I find it kind of like ruins the shadow. It makes them all chunky. I know a lot of people do it, but oh, one, two chunks are falling off. I think I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Heavy Metal in the color Cat Call. Okay, next, we're going to go in with So Sassy right here. Go right underneath that liner. No, that doesn't show up very well. We're gonna go in with extra attitude. Let's bring it right up to the line. Looks very similar to the other one. I was grabbing the focaler one. I don't know how I grabbed this one instead. Okay, 
I don't really love the brush on this. It's not fine enough for my liking. I'm gonna do the same with the other eye and then I'll be back because this is taking forever. I'm bean for the brow bone. Let's do the lower lash line. Serve looks. Yeah, underneath. The hot stuff. We'll try glitz on. The inner corner. No, that's more just like a glitter topper. How about this one? Oh. Vibing. That's pretty. Gives me some brightness. What? Maybe this. This shade is actually quite cool. Might not match with the look, but let's just try it out. So we're using Live It Up on the lower lash line. I think we're going to leave it there. Put on my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara, and I'll be right back. So this is going to be the final look. If you enjoyed watching this review and tutorial on the new 39, L, hit the lights morphe palette give this video a thumbs up it lets me know that you're enjoying my content subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me comment down below and say hi if you want to make friends and i'll definitely support your channel as well yeah that's going to be it for now so thank you so much for watching Bye.